Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. In this video, I am I am excited. It's move-in time again. For those of you that like my Transformer setup videos, I am filming this one a teensy bit early. I did like the red, white, and blue, red, silver, and blue discs um, very much for 4th of July. I'll probably do it again next year. But now that we're getting on toward August, um, they're not matching as many of my spreads, which I never really let that be a factor when I choose what I'm going to do. Um, but I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to move into um, some other stuff. So I've got some gold Happy Planner expander discs. Here are my three sets of covers. So for those of you that are new to my channel, I do a transformer planner and I will explain that in detail as we go along. But I have three months of three different planners. So I choose three different sets of covers. This one is um, my seasonal cover, and I really was torn whether I should flip it so that I had the bumblebees, save the bees, or um, the florals. I think I'm going to go with the florals for now, and then what I might do is keep the bees for um, September. We'll see. And I can also change it partway through the year, but there's some gold florals in here that will go with the gold on the discs. Then I have... Um, and these actually, I just realized, are all three Planners Anonymous kits. Um, so if you're not familiar with Planners Anonymous, they are a subscription box kit, um, which I absolutely adore. I've been getting their kit for a couple of years now. I have tons of unboxings on my channel. I also have a link in the description box for discount of your, after bleh, a discount off your first month's subscription. So, but I'm not going to go into too much detail on that here because it would take a bit. Anyway, you get you get to see some of the style of artwork and stuff and decide right away if it's part of your aesthetic or not. Um, so I've got um, Drinker of Coffee Planner of Things. This is going to go on my social media dashboard planner. And then the third, and there's a tiny, there's a little bit of gold yellow in there. So this will work with the gold discs. And last but not least then, again, this is part of the Love Bug Kit from Planners Anonymous. Um, and I could go again with either side for this. Um, I could go this way and have this be um, my cover, be my Love Bug. Or I could go this way and have Love Thyself. So I'm going to put this on Wellness. I'm going to put Love Thyself as the cover. So let's get started. To set up a Transformer Planner, the first thing you're going to do is just, just like normal, I've got my front and back covers together. I'm going to pop all nine discs in. And I have, I have a playlist um, called Monthly Planning. And all of my Transformer setup videos are in there if you ever want to see other months, um, you know, like how I set up maybe for October for Halloween and so on and so forth. So there we go. So right now I just have a front and back cover. When I make my covers, I also have a video on how I laminate my covers in my DIY playlist. Um, I always make them reversible. So I could easily put this is my front and this is my back or this is my front and this is my back. For now, I'm going to keep it like that. So there's the inside of my planner. So when I set up my planner, I do three months. I do previous, current, and next. So since this is my August setup, those three months are going to be July, August, and September. So I'm just coming in my current setup. Here is my, I use Modern Meow as my catch-all. So I've got my title page and the perpetual calendar because I do have um, personal holidays that I, I don't want to forget in here, birthdays and gotcha days and fun little holidays. So the next thing I have in here since this was my July setup is June. I don't need June anymore. So I've got my, my archive here and I have a video on how I set up my archives, how I make them and set them up. I'll link that in the cards up above. My divider here, this is just a placemat from the Dollar Tree or Walmart, Amazon, wherever, cheap placemat table placemat, kitchen table placemat, because it's big enough that you can get a front and a back cover out of it if you divide it in half. Um, and then I just have half of a back to school plastic folder in here. And what that does is that marks my, where my previous past month pages are and after it are my new next month pages. So June is gonna come out. And uh, let's see, I've, it's a little bit thick. I franken and planned a couple times, so I'm just gonna pull half of it out at a time so I don't damage the pages. 
All right, so June, like I said, comes out. I don't need it anymore. July is going to be my previous month. It's still, we're, we're nearing the end of July, but we're not there yet. So, so we'll put July in and I can't fit everything on camera. <laughs> so, and the discs are really floppy right now, but that's because I don't have very much on them yet. That will get better. Okay, so there's July. And then I need, where's my bookmark? Here's my bookmark. Ah, avalanche. Let's pop this in. Okay, and then current month will be August. So we'll move August over. And then future month will be September, so back into my archive on the other side of the divider. And we'll pull out September for future month. This works for me because I don't find myself regularly needing to refer forward or backward more than a month. So, But if you need to regularly refer further backwards or forwards than that, you may need to adjust this system slightly for you. You may need to include four months or six months or whatever will make your life easier, right? Make the system work for you. So right now I just have a normal planner, super, super skinny because it's only got a front back cover, front cover, back cover, and three months and my bookmark, right? So normal planner. So to make this a transformer planner, we're going to go inside the back cover. This is the only tricky part. So my planner is open. I'm here at the back cover. I'm going to take my next set of covers. This is my front cover. So I'm going to put it on just like I would normally put on a front cover. Okay. Now here's the tricky part. My back cover then is going to come over here and you'll see why it'll, it'll all fall into place here in a second. So there's my front cover, back cover. When I pick it up by the discs and it flops shut, now I have a front cover and a back cover and they match. See, just like that, it just transformed. So now inside just this front cover, that's the only thing I'm opening, now I need to put my social media stuff. So I'm gonna come back over here in my social media planner. That's where I keep an old clear dashboard with bunches of post-it notes for various things. And then I have my title page for that planner and my perpetual calendar, which I keep track of stats on. Next, um, I have June, but I don't need June anymore. June is falling off. It'll be two months old instead of one month old. So we're gonna come over here to my social media archive, another placemat, another set of extra discs, and we're gonna pull June out. So I Franken plan a lot. I have a lot of really thick scrapbook paper in this planner, so I'm just going to pull half of the month out because I don't want to damage it. So there we go. June is now in the archive. All right, so now July is my current month. I'm going to pull that bookmark out. We're going to need September. September will be my future month. So let's pull that out so I can get the archive out of my way. All right, so we'll put this in. I actually have a small notes section. I don't know if I mentioned that um, in my archive planner or in my social media planner. I also have a small notes section in my um, uh, catch-all planner. <laughs> And so I moved that over. I don't think I mentioned it as I was doing it, but anyway, so that gives, that'll give me my three months and my notes section. So August will come over that since this is my August setup, August will be the current month. I'm not quite there yet since I'm filming this a little bit ahead of time. And then July will be my previous month. Since that's where we actually are, um, I'm going to go ahead and put my bookmark in here where it goes. So matching coffee themed bookmark. There we go. And we'll pull the other part of July over. It's a little thick. Like I said, lots of Franken planning. Okay. So now I have 
a two section transformer planner, right? So there is my social media. I got my businessy feeling, you know, energetic, got my coffee there, open it up. There's my social media stuff. Now, if I go to the back, the next set of covers, so I can feel, I can even do it with my eyes closed, feel back to the next set of covers, split between them, pick it up by the discs. And now I've got a matching front cover, matching back cover. I just transformed from my social media planner to there's modern meow. There's my catch all planner. So here, Kitty. <coughs> I think my watch thought I was talking to it. So there we go. Now we've got six months on there, but we're not done yet. We still got to put my wellness planner in here. So again, just like before inside the very, very back cover, <coughs> We're going to take the next cover. Again, I want this to be my front cover. So I'm going to put it over here where it would normally go. This is going to be my back cover. So I'm going to put it over here. That way, when we grab it by the discs one more time, it's going to flip shut. And now I've got a matching front and back cover. And I know love thyself. That's where my social or my um, wellness and fitness is going to be. So opening just that one cover up. Coming back here, these don't match, don't care, doesn't matter, it's okay. So I'm going to bring over, last but not least, I keep a little set of post-it notes here, just a little set, in case there's something I want to hide. I have just the title page. I don't use the perpetual calendar um, in this planner, so I just have the title page. There's nothing else there. I could cover that with scrap of paper. I've done that in the past. Um, we're done with June. I don't need June anymore. So I'm going to pull that out. It's going to go, let's put it in my archive. So turning to the divider and I like to use um, back to school, like half of a folder here. So it's got a, a pocket. Let's say you went to the doctor and you got some literature or something that you wanted to to hang on to. Here you've got a pocket. You can put all that stuff right here in your planner. So you always have it handy for reference if you need it. All right. And then if I go to my divider there, I can get September because I know that the three months I want in every section is um, July, August, September. So we'll just go ahead and move that one over. I don't have a notes section in that planner. All right, now we can't, I don't need my bookmark, so we'll pull, we'll pull that out. All right, so here I've got, July is gonna become my previous month. So again, even in my wellness and fitness, that's about all the further back I ever need to reference is one month. Um, lots of reasons why, ladies, you know what I'm talking about. So, so there's July. And then here is, will be my current month, August. I'm just going to park this bookmark here for now. There we go. There is three months of three different planners. All that's left over here is just a bunch of covers. And depending on how I move, sometimes a bookmark or two, but that'll all get put back into my storage. So this is how thick I am at this point. It'll get a tiny bit thicker over the course of the month because I'll franken plan in some thicker scrapbook page, page papers. But um, that is it. There's my three month transformer planner. So when I get to see this cover, I know I've got my wellness front and center. If I go to a different set of covers, the next one back, this one, I recognize that this is my catch all planner, which is where I like to be the most seasonal. That says seasonal to me. And there we go. There's my cat lady planner. If I go to the next set of covers, grab it by the discs, let it flip shut. There we go. This looks like a, a desk or a work surface. So this is my social media planner. There we go. I'm all moved in for August. I hope you like this video. Give transformer planning a try. It's been planner piece for me for like three years now. Um, if you don't like it, the beauty of the disc bound system is that you can just put everything back. So I hope you like this video. If you do, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you.